this is Rick Prokop at Piano Power Lessons. Today we're going to carry on with learning the left hand of a song of Penny Candy. So let's just listen to how the left hand sounds by itself. One, two, three, four. And just as a little aside, it's very important to play the hands alone just for the very reason that they represent on the piano two different instruments. And if this was, say, a flute and a viola duet, the violist would go home and all they would hear is this part. So it's really important that you learn that as an independent melody that's just as important as the main melody. All right, so let's play our little note naming game. We'll go from here to here. Notice that this grouping is the same as this grouping. So I'll play and say the notes once through and then allow you to do the same. And I'm gonna put the metronome on so that we have some time reference here. Okay, and here we go. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, G, D. G, A, B, G, D. All right, you try now. One, two, three, four. Next line, we begin on B below middle C. Let's just do these three notes. Ready? One, two, three, four. B. There's middle C. And the D above D above middle C. All right, you try. Three, four. Good. Now at the close of the piece, the D repeats and then comes down D, C, B, D, G. And if you've been studying your triads in unit three, you would notice that this is a G major triad broken up, right? Here we have G, B, and D. So what I'd like to do is play the last two measures a couple of times. We'll play that game, okay? So I'll go first, you go second, I'll go first, then you go second. There we go. One, two, three, four. D, D, C, B, D, G. Your turn. One, two, three, four. turn, three, four, D, D, C, B, D, G, your turn, one, two, three, four. All right, let's see if we can get through this whole second line now. There we go, one, two, three, four, B, C, D, D, C, B, D, G. All right, you try. One, two, three, four. Now 
Now, before we try to go through the whole thing, let's just practice going from here to here because your eye has to travel backwards. So this is a D going to a B. Say it with me. D, B. Once again, D, B. Okay. All right, let's go through the entire left hand from the beginning to the end now. I'll do it once and then you can do it after me. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, G, D. G, A, B, G, D. B, C, D, D, C, B, D, G. Okay, your turn. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. Let's look down at the keyboard now and see how we're going to play this with the left hand. All right, so we'll set up our hand with our fifth finger on the G below middle C, thumb on the D above middle C. We'll begin by just bouncing on the individual notes, and we have G, A, B, G, D. Those are our first five notes, and then it repeats. Let's try it together. One, two, three, four. Again. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It's very important to keep that wrist loose at all times. All right, next we have B. C, D, then D, C, B, and here's our triad. All right, so let's try that. We'll do that a couple of times. One, two, three, four. B, going up to C, and going up to D. Repeat the D and come down. Triad. Once again, start on the B, one, two, three, four. Up to C, up to D, repeat the D, go down, and the triad. Good. All right, let's try the whole thing with the metronome on. One, two, three, four. Down, up, 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 down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Two, three, four. Get off. Let's look at how we're going to group the left hand notes so that we can play them more fluently. So our first physical group will be the G through the B, and then second is the G to the D. So we have down, up, up, down, up to the thumb. Okay, and then the same thing happens over here. Now I realize there's a seeming overlap here. 
because I told you that this is the low point and this is the high point of the right hand, but at the high point of the right hand, the, the wrist has to start coming down at some point. So it, I'll show you that when we do the hands together. It's not gonna be a problem. And the right hand will start descending here with the low left wrist so that when we get to the A, the right wrist will be at a low point. Um, this, this G, D here, what you're going to do is down, up, and then up, up. So this isn't the high point. The high point of this D is gonna be way over here for your left wrist. Now down here, there's not much you can do. You're just sitting on this whole note. Meanwhile, your right hand is, the right wrist is going up. So you play this whole note and you have your left wrist just mimic whatever the right wrist is doing. Then the right, right wrist comes down here on that B, you come down to mimic coming down on this G in the right hand, et cetera, et cetera. And you do that all the way to this point here. You play this D as the right hand, as the right wrist is going up, you will play that so that it coincides with the right wrist. At this point in the left hand, the wrist of the left hand Play this D, and it's mimicking the wrist of the right hand here going up. And it reaches a high point, and then you have to come off that D and come back down on this new D on the third beat. So the last remaining five notes of the left hand is a physical group that corresponds with the physical group of these three notes in the right hand. All right, and let's go down to the keyboard again and take a look to see how this works. All right, we'll start with just a drop of the wrist on this G, and the note will just go down. And put most of your finger onto that key. Notice this median joint here is on the edge of the key. All right, so let's go from there now. We have drop, up, up, down, up, 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 and off. Then we do it again. Down, up, up, down, up, 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 off. Down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up, off. Down, up, 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 and the highest point is the pinky at the end. All right, the purpose of grouping with physical groups is to allow us to play more fluently. So let's play this a little faster. I have the metronome set on 104 now. One, two, three, four. And that should do it for today. Um, make sure you practice this a lot. Also practice your reading so you're very fluent with that because we're going to put the hands together next time and then we'll be reading two clefs at once with new notes. And to make matters worse, we're going to be trying to play all of those notes. So I hope to see you next time and have a great day.